Taylor Lorenz recently went on MSNBC to talk about what it's like to be a female journalist who is constantly targeted by people who not only dislike her, but throw all sorts of threats toward her, including threats of violence. Her family has had to deal with some of these threats. But unfortunately, MSNBC seemed to have missed the mark in this segment and it made matters worse. Now, without further ado, why don't we watch the segment featuring Lorenz and then we'll give you details about what happened afterwards. They tracked violent and threatening tweets directed at two female journalists after being targeted by two male media figures. Researchers found that attacks against Lorenz went up as much as 144% after just one Twitter thread. For another journalist, they went up 65%. Nice job on that story, you soulless effing c- Then also you'll see there's these there's many people that are tweeting um, You know, here's, these are Taylor Lorenz's loved ones. They have photos, wow, these are all photos of your family members. Yeah, children. Yeah, they'll they'll threaten children, they'll threaten my parents. I've had to remove every single social tie. I had severe PTSD from this, I I contemplated suicide, it got really bad. You feel like any little piece of information that gets out on you will be used by the worst people on the internet to destroy your life, and it's, so isolating and terrifying. It's horrifying. So uh, unfortunately, that segment led to more backlash against uh, Lorenz. And she tweeted about it, the whole experience and how MSNBC covered this topic, saying if your, your segment or story on online harassment leads to even worse online harassment for your subjects, You messed up royally and should learn how to cover these things properly before ever talking about them again. Um, And she also says media companies are like, we'd like to do a story on the horrible bad faith smear campaign against you. But for fairness sake, we will need to include comment from the people smearing you as a pedophile in order to represent both sides. And so the people she's referring to there uh, include Tucker Carlson, um, Glenn Greenwald, Fox News. Now, Carlson and Fox News did not provide comment to MSNBC, but Greenwald told the network, quote, as a member of various marginalized groups, I don't want or accept some special immunity shield against being criticized, and no journalist with any dignity or worth should want that either. Now, let me also be clear that Glenn Greenwald lives in a compound in Brazil with all sorts of private security. I would venture to say that people like Taylor Lorenz do not have that type of security. So very specific death threats can can be very scary when you don't have a personal security detail protecting you at all times. But Jenk, what do you think about the criticism that Lorenz had for MSNBC and the way they handled that segment? Yeah, well, so there's a couple of things here. Um, so first, I just want to make sure that everybody, nobody falls for Glenn's uh, obvious trick. Uh, so he says, "Oh, she just wants to be shielded from criticism." No, that's not what she's talking about. I interviewed her recently, and we were very clear on that issue. Uh, it's not about mean tweets. We've all had thousands and thousands of mean tweets, maybe millions, uh, against us, and we're deal with criticism nonstop, it's not about that at all. Did you hear what she said? They put up pictures of her family members online, including kids. What do you think that's a reference to? That's like an old school mob style reference to, we know who your family is and we can harm them. It's terrorism. And so look, I can relate to what she's saying. I'm I'm really worried about putting pictures of my kids up on online. I haven't done that, you know, for they've been for the whole 11 to almost 12 years now. There's like two or three pictures. That's it out of their all of their lives. Why? Because there's right wing monsters out there. And so they constantly are threatening physical violence. There's swatting, et cetera. There's so many things they do that have to do with actually harming people. And Glenn Greenwald, a liar, comes out and goes, oh, she just wants to be shielded from criticism because she's a woman. That's not what she said at all, and you know it, Glenn. Okay, so now to the point about MSNBC's coverage. Look, 
they can't help themselves. Taylor and I talked about that also in our interview. You should check that out on the conversation. Um, so they can't help going, well, okay, this is a smear campaign where they're gonna call you a pedophile, but I have to call everything even. So I'll do a story about how you're getting smeared, but then I'll give them the word saying 50-50, she might be though. No, what, no, based on what, based on nothing, based on an actual lie. And yet, well, no, mainstream media, 50-50. So why do you think they go and call people pedophiles? Cuz they know mainstream media is going to call it 50/50 and then people are going to think, "Oh, I guess there's a 50% chance that person's a pedophile." You see, mainstream media enables the right-wing attacks by doing that. Right. Now, um Tucker Carlson, of course, never misses an opportunity to dogpile on Taylor Lorenz. And so he did a segment and he just tried to make the argument that like, well, I don't like the kind of reporting that Taylor Lorenz does and she engages in cancel culture. So sorry, no empathy for me. But remember when Tucker Carlson was calmly approached by someone at a fly fishing store, like Fox News put out a statement, Oh, this is unacceptable, cry me a river, please. You can disagree with someone's reporting and also condemn death threats toward her and her family members. But the right wing, of course, can't get themselves to do that. Honestly, Tucker did that segment to make sure she got more threats. Yeah. Because they're using the Gestapo, their Gestapo that they know exists to constantly threaten the left wing so that they submit and that they don't fight back. And so it's yep. disgusting what they're doing. By the way, I had a hater approach me this weekend. We'll talk about that in the bonus episode. That's coming up next for the members, tyt.com slash join. And we'll put the link to my interview with Taylor Lorenz in the description box below. And you can check that out just by clicking on it and watching that as well. So you can hear from Taylor herself. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.